I loved seeing you with the girls and I was getting strong big sister vibes from you. Did it very much feel like that, you with the girls? Yeah, it did. I, I, I you know, I have two younger sisters and I think I slip into that dynamic pretty easily with yeah. people who are in their early 20s. So that felt like really easy with them. I'm curious what your actual spidey senses are like in real life. By that, I mean basically like intuition because yes. I have a good sense for knowing where spiders are in the room, oh. like I'm, because I'm so terrified. Oh, okay. So that's what my spidey sense tingles oh, when like you they're have around. An actual spidey yeah. sense. Yeah. What is uh, your your spidey sense? I like? have a pretty strong intuition, not about spiders, but <laughs> like just about uh, anything else. Good gut instinct. Yeah. On, on things. Yeah. There's so much to this movie, though. Like, so the relationship with the girls, especially the um, the sarcasm which you have with Ben in in the film. I even turned to my friend during the film. I was like, "This feels like you and me." Like, mm -hmm. I loved how relatable that was. Which part did you particularly enjoy? Working with Adam Scott was really great because he's so funny and so, so talented and really easy to be around and yeah. work with. And that was great and um, I really wanted to like instill some levity in the film and have Cassie have a sense of humor and like a, a really dry sense of humor so that he helped with that and and the banter with the girls was fun sometimes just because they're so different yeah. that it, it was it was nice a nice layer is your sense of humor quite dry as well it is I feel like from what I've seen on I, maybe <laughs> I guess a little bit of yourself in that yeah um, and listen I don't know what's going to happen in the future with this or with anything else but if you could have a crossover movie with any of the Marvel stars who do you think uh, it would work really well with I have no idea truly I think um, I think there's like obvious characters that people would like to see but um i don't know i feel really excited for the future of madam webb seeing as we're speaking of that are you someone who tends to focus on the present i'm not going to take the past out of it because no one wants to focus on the, on the no, past no one Do you, does. are you someone who like cassie i think she addresses her past but she focuses on the present yes and she can see the future. Yeah. Are you someone who focuses on the present or do you focus more on the future? I feel like I'm constantly trying to be present. I'm, I'm you know, you're, we're taught to yeah. not like future trip and, and dwell on the past, so. You're yeah. not there making like vision boards like I feel like I really <laughs> need to do I to try and I a vision board, like a manifestation <laughs> yeah. board. Sure, why not? Um, yeah. But that's dreaming, it's not that's tripping. It's not, it's not like flipping out about the future. Yeah. It's more just like what's possible. Well, let's see what's possible with the future for Madam Webb. I'm very excited to see. Thank uh, you. Congratulations Thank on you the so film much. and good luck with it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you.